Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 3 100% walkthrough. As you can see, we are now at Bahamut's Lair. So we're gonna get the Bahamut summon spell and then we have to buy all the other summon spells after. So that we can get um, this all the summon spell trophy. All the summons trophy, whatever it's called. So these are drakes and grenades. And I'm gonna sing and just attack with everybody here. Dragoons will do lots of damage on the flying types. Just as a friendly reminder. Okay, so let's cross this bridge. And we'll go right first. Grab these two chests here. Phoenix down. And Arctic Wind. Now let's cross back through this bridge again and go to this side. And grab Earthen Drums and. We got three guys. Let's just auto attack them all. They're so easy. Five thousand seven hundred EXP. Luneth jaw levels increased, and Heavenly Wrath. So this is one of the best places to train in the game. So if you want to come train here after later in the game, to get each of your characters to level ninety nine. Then you can do that later on. Okay. So let's cross this bridge here. We have to make sure we update our beastery here. Oh, these are all easy. Dragoons and Thief will kill them because they're also weak to wind and I have an air knife on. So shield deals max damage. Dragoon deals max damage. They don't have a lot of defense either, which helps. 4950 Gale and 5700 EXP. Rufia gains a level, Lunith gains a level, and Ingus gains a level. So we'll grab this, the Golem Staff. Then we'll go down here. New enemy time. These are Sabertooth Ligers. Let's finish them off. Four thousand one hundred sixty-four, thirty-five, thirty-nine, and thirty-three, fifty-eight. They all die in one shot. Just as easy as the Leviathan's cave, and you get lots of EXP and gil. Look at that: five thousand four hundred gil, five thousand seven hundred EXP. Really, really good place to train and build up your gil and EXP. Let's cross this bridge here and grab this, which is White Musk. And then we'll cross through here and grab this, which is Bajru Cider. Now, if we go down here, we're actually going to um, gonna get a powerful item for the Scholar. I'll show you what it is in just a second here. We just have to go through another encounter. I don't recommend using the item until we start to fight the more powerful bosses. Like the endgame bosses. Because you want to make sure you save them. It's called the Chocobo Wrath. So grab this chest here. That's Chocobo's Wrath. And... I barely moved. Anyways. I'll show you the item once. This game will let me um, grab the next chest. Alright, 5,400 GLF, 700 EXP. Ingus jaw levels increased. Okay, grab it, and turtle shell. So here's the item here. Chocobo's Wrath creates Inferno, and then we have White Musk, which deals light damage. Both of these are very strong. Now let's go down into the next part of the dungeon here. And we have a chest right to our left, we can grab. It's the Uriatos Bowl. Okay, so let's go and grab the other items. Phoenix down. Elixir, Elixir, and Kotetsu. So we're just looking for Greater Boros and Queen Lamaya now. Alright, so this is Greater Boros. So now we just need Queen Lamaya. Let's auto attack. Oh, Petrify. They die in one shot, but if they get a turn in, they have a chance to Petrify you, unfortunately. Look at that EXP, 7,600 though. <laughs> Tons of EXP. Luna's job level increased. 
Is she still petrified? Yes. So let's use a golden needle on her. There you go. If he is back. You can also have her steal more gold needles from the- There's Queen Lamaya right there. Queen Lamaya. So we should be good now. Let's just auto attack it. So that's all the enemies now. Our beast tree is fully updated. We get 4400 gil and 3000 EXP for killing her. Let's make our way up a little bit and we're going to change into a scholar class. So make sure your characters are fully equipped and they're in the back row. Now to make this extra easier, if you guys have Raven Zion, you're going to do extra bonus damage because Bahamut's weakness is wind and Raven Zion casts a powerful Iroga attack with the scholar class. I'm not sure why Bahamut even has a weakness to begin with. He shouldn't have any weakness. But they made him really easy in this game because of that. Let's see if we can make it right up to him without- Oh, we got it. Are you strong enough to defeat me? There's Bahamut. Remember, he kicked her ass last time, this guy. Early in the story, when we can only do like one damage or some shit like that. Now, it's a fair battle, but it. So let's go to items. And select Raven's Yawn, I have seven of them. Once every character gets a Raven's Yawn turn in, we won't have to use them anymore. We should be able to use like something else like Arctic Wind or something. Raven's Yawn, and Raven's Yawn. There we go. Let's speed this up a little bit. 9,999 damage, we might do max damage all the way. Yeah. Actually break damage limit. It's probably doing more than... 9,999 damage. Look at that. It only took three turns to kill it. <laughs> well, not three turns. Um, it only took three characters to kill it. In one turn. So three Ravens, Yon, that's all you need. You guys should have at least three of them. Obtain 16,500 gil. 5,000 EXP. Ingus job level increased. Obtain the summon spell Bahamut. So at this point now, we can buy the rest of the summons and get the achievement. So let's get out of this cave here. Well, don't bother using an otter shroom because we have to make our way out of the cave. Since it just teleports you right out there now because that's where we last walked outside. God damn, that sucks. Eh, I guess we get more EXP along the way since we have to max out our characters anyway. And we also get more gale, so it's not... Oh shit, I didn't even change my job classes. Well, I guess we could just use magic. The physicals was doing just as much as the magic attack. Alright, let me switch my job classes now. Rafael's job level increased. Arx's job level increased. Lunith gains a level. Lunith's job level increased. Okay, once we change job classes, we're gonna keep going. Making our way out of this cave right now. I'm just gonna auto attack it. Actually, never mind. I was gonna change the bar to sing a command, but too late for that. This will kind of make up for that um, other encounter there. Heal up a little bit. Okay, back here. And all the way straight down. Unless you guys get ambushed, like me. Sing and attack. Perfect! Much better. Leviathan was actually harder than Bahamut. Bahamut should not have a weakness. I don't I don't like how they gave Bahamut a weakness. Leviathan should not have a weakness either. Oh well, because they're supposed to be more challenging than that. And by giving them a weakness, you just make them easier. Finally, we can hop aboard this airship now. Okay, let's get out of here. 
And okay, we're gonna head to Repleto Village to buy the summons. So let's get back into the other world here. And I think Repleto was just northeast of us. It's in one of those places up there. Oh yeah, it's just diagonal from... Oh, I think it's all the way up north. Because Duster is in the middle there. And we went diagonal from Duster, so it should be all the way, way up north, Repleto. It's hard to remember the locations of some of them. And there's no names on the maps, so you have to really try to remember the locations. So it should be up north, way up here. I'll open up the map once I get there. Right here. This should be Repito. There I am on the map, way up north. Northwest. So, let's descend. And Repito. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're looking for the summon shop here. Can't remember if it's this one. No, this is black magic. No, no, this is the one. So let's buy this. Let's buy Shiva. We'll buy Rama, Ifrit, and Titan. And we just got the achievement. No such thing as too many. So we have all the summon spells in the game now. And that leaves us at 471,493 gold, or gil, which means we were close to 500,000 to get another achievement. But that's gonna come very easy because we still have to max our EXP out, right? Once we, once we get level 99 for every character here, we'll have a lot, of, lot more gil than 500,000. Um, let me check the Moogle here. If he, if Sid, Leave us a letter yet? No, I think we need the Eureka key first before we can get a letter from Sid. So I'm still gonna wait on Sid here before we get the ultimate weapon. So let's head back down. And we're gonna board the ship again. Okay, so from Repleto here, we're gonna go west. And what we're gonna do is get an Nautilus to sit in there. So that's like somewhere around here. Let me check that map. Oh, I think we go down here for it. And around here. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Okay, let's grab the Nautilus. This thing's a lot faster too, which I like. Now we have to go to Dolga's Manor. So that was like south of here, right? Or was that his cave? Right over here. I think Dolga Manor was southeast. So let's go down this way. And we'll fly around here. I'll check the map. Okay, right down here. Now we're looking for a really tight path here that we can fly to. Right here. This was Dolga's Manor right up here. So let's get off, and I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching.